Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here we have the replacement right horizontal stabilizer. Uh, we've got the wing skin here that we made earlier in the video or a previous video, depending on how I edit, edited this. And now we have the right stab core ready to get sheeted. You will see that I have the slot here cut out for the outboard <coughs> socket support rib. And I also went ahead and capped the leading edge here with a piece of just eighth inch sheet balsa. The reason I did this was just to help give it a little bit of structure with this giant gap in it. So now that we've got all of the skin ready, the, the core here is ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just we're gonna take a Gorilla Glue and we're just gonna spread Gorilla Glue all over the foam core here. And right before I do that, what I'm gonna do, like I've shown in a couple of other videos, I'm going to take our balsa skin and I'm just gonna mist it with water. And then wipe it down with a paper towel to help spread that water around and so we don't have any significantly damp spots. One thing I did do here before starting the video is I set the skin here over the, the foam core shuck. The shuck is what is left over from cutting out the foam core with the hot wire. So I put the skin here and I made a couple of marks just to help align it once, we're, once we get to that point. So like I said, now we're just going to take our Gorilla Glue and we're just going to spread it here on the stab core. I'm going to keep it a little, probably about a quarter to half of an inch away from the slot here. That way I don't have to worry about the Gorilla Glue getting into the slot and then having to try and dig it out from the opposite side. A pretty good amount of glue everywhere so now the process is literally you just take the part you put it on top of your skin you get it lined up to where your marks were all right that's lined up there and then you just put it in the shuck and you literally just start stacking weights on it. All right. That's really all we have to do for sheeting a foam core, wing tail, pretty much anything foam core. That's all you got to do. You just got to put glue on it, stick it in there, put it in the shuck, and then weigh it down. So we're back here with our new replacement foam core stab. Uh, earlier in this video or the previous video, I showed you how about to sheet one side of it. It has now been about, oh, probably about 12 hours. It's fully cured. I have gone ahead and taken it, all the sandbags off, obviously, and I've sanded the balsa wood edges flush to everything. And I also went ahead and installed the, the balsa wood block here in the root for the anti-rotation and the attachment rod to go into typically i would not do this this early on but in this instance i'm kind of in a pickle to where i need this block installed so when i go to glue in all the structure for the wing tube or the the stab tube sockets and their support ribs i don't have to worry about uh, not having something in place so in this instance, I've gone ahead and put that block in, and I'm before I sheet the bottom, I'm gonna glue in all of the structure, including the, the, the plywood cap rib, all at the same time. Which brings in a, another thing that I like to do differently than how this is, but I'm keeping this built how it was just for simplicity's sake. Typically, all ribs that are going to be installed, I like to install those first, and then have the sheeting 
kind of encapsulate them. So in the instance of the, the root rib, I would actually have that undersized by the thickness of the sheeting all the way around. And then I would glue it onto the root and then I would sheet everything. But this one, since we're in kind of a, uh, we're redoing what someone else has already done. I'm going to keep it simple and just leave it how they had done it. So currently what I'm working on is I need to get the new, well, while this block is, is drying, I can't really do anything else with this stab other than kind of prep it to get it ready for sheeting on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've cut a couple of quarter inch by half inch hardwood rails that we're going to use to put in here for a servo hard point. And as you can see, there's already some in here. These are sized for a quarter scale servo. This is what a quarter scale servo looks like. And this is a normal standard size servo. As you can see, there is a substantial difference in it. This servo weighs about 130 grams, so about four and a half, five ounces compared to this servo, which is, I want to say, about two and a half to three ounces. It's, it's a significant difference in weight and size. So instead of sitting here spending a ton of time replacing all of these rails, I'm gonna leave the rear rails where they are and I'm just gonna put in an additional set of extra rails here in the front to take into account the size of the servos, the standard size servos that we plan to use. Okay, folks, I've got the rails cut. They are installed. We can take our servo here and we can fit it in there quite easily on both of them. So we know the spacing, spacing is good. I typically have an issue where I always bring them too tight to where they're almost touching the case and it makes it getting in and out almost impossible. Anyways, now like I said, I like to put a balsa wood uh, just a spanner here just to bridge the gap and this is again just quarter by half I'm going to actually stand it up on edge and the reason why I'm going to stand it on edge is I'm going to have it just slightly above the or slightly proud of the, the airfoil surface that way we can sand these down to the shape of the airfoil so when they get glued on or so when it gets sheeted the airfoil is perfect and the skin will actually touch these spanner pieces. Okay. Everything is put in here. You'll see that I use CA to glue these balsa wood pieces in. You can use CA on wood or surrounded by white foam. You just have to be extremely careful. CA does melt the white foam. So if you use it, just very, very small drops. And that's where those uh, zap ends or the CA pipe it tips really come in handy. So you can put very, very small drops in. Really, the CA is just kind of here to help uh, just hold them in place so we can sand them down and then once everything gets glued in then these will really get kind of solidified in there because the glue will reach will seep down into the to the gaps between the foam and the wood so, so here now. we've got the right horizontal stabilizer replacement here in position uh, i've kind of just been going back and forth for probably a couple of hours just making sure this thing is perfectly set up to where we need to be and now we're finally getting to the point where we're making progress. So here I've got this rib where it needs to be. I made just a couple of marks across the rib onto the, the wood surfaces beside it. So now we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna just put Gorilla Glue all down in there.
stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up some 30 minute epoxy. All right. Now we've got the epoxy here mixed up. We'll get the sockets aligned with the hose here in the rib. There you see we have the sockets aligned with the root rib. Now I need to put just a couple of drops of CA on that to uh, hold the, rip, the sockets in place. So that everything's been coated in glue. I used just a couple of drops on the edges of the tube sockets here just to hold those in place to the root rib that way when we slide this whole thing onto the tubes here they don't slide into the slide into the, the stabilizer half you know we got plenty of time with the gorilla glue so it doesn't so it's not going to dry on us in a hurry use 30 minute epoxy here on the stabilizer so again it's not really going to hit us and make it glue like kick off very quickly and I've got a couple of alignment points here that I'm going to get lined up and then I have another one here on the leading edge which is all lined up so now that that is all taken care of I'm also going to use CA here just to create a couple of spots to tack glue everything And this will lock in that root rib to the horizontal stabilizer here, to the replacement one. Now I'm going to grab my ruler. And I'm going to run it down the leading edge. What I'm going to do is I'm checking right here on the seam line of the original one that we are pretty much parallel with it, which we are. So this thing is pretty much good to go. I've already got the other side glued on. One thing I have been, I did do on the other side and I'm gonna do on this side as well, is I took just a little baggie of lead shot, weighs roughly a pound. And what I did, it did is I took it and I put it about two thirds out, half span out here just to create some down pressure. The reason why I did this did this is that way that gorilla glue expanding at this outboard rib and around it those tube sockets as it expands you don't have to the little bit of extra weight put some leverage on it so you don't have to worry about it expanding out and knocking off your alignments and then also to keep glue from dripping all over my floor and then showing up where you don't want it i took some gorilla or just regular masking tape and i lightly covered that rib on the bottom surface that way it holds the glue up in there but it still allows the glue to expand and push the tape away so with that said horizontal stabs are getting very very close to being completed uh, luckily i don't have to carve the tip for this one we still have the original one the horizontal stabilizer over here i started going about sanding this off and quite a bit of sanding i believe there's at least six coats of paint on that horizontal stabilizer that i that i counted and there may be more but it's pretty pretty close to being sanded the bottom i haven't even really touched i really just went along the perimeter of the leading edge and then the tip down there just so i could expose the the seam between the skin and the leading edge so i can go ahead and start removing all of this skin in order to replace it but for now, that is all I'm going to do with this video. So until next time, y'all have a great day.